name is Kyle for the win, and welcome to episode two of Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the first episode. I'm actually recording the second episode uh, in advance, but uh, if you showed a lot of support, then you'll probably be seeing the second episode uh, right away. But uh, hopefully, you guys go to enjoy this second part. Uh, it's probably going to be a little bit longer than the last one, uh, but I will see you guys, of course, very, very soon. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. <gasps> Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know the situation were reversed and he looked for me thank you this way last i know john was headed up the river for all we know he kept riding north and never looked back he wouldn't leave not like that uh, wouldn't be the first time Take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, it seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Giddy up. Calmate. Cross. See, they continue up that way. Ooh, not that way. Ash. A few hours ago, most. I can see the tracks here, Arthur. John, you tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. The Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. The tracks lead this way, Arthur. Ha! We continue along the cliff wall here. got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hot again. Who knows 
these tracks if you don't move fast. Where are you going? Ah. There, boy. Getting narrow here. Come on. Horses are getting tired. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Uh, let's... let's see if he can hear us. Come on, up there. Shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Watch out here. You sure about this? It's coming from this way. Okay. Mierda, that we're high up here. You're telling me. Drops down here. Watch yourself. Slippery, be careful. Watch your head here. Okay, from here. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. now come on we're coming John
That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. You all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. You see that on the ridge? Perfect. You head for the horses. I'll keep John's friends off until you're clear. All right, John, come on. Let's get you on that horse. Let's get the hell out of here. Come on, then. Let's get back to the others. Epa. Yeah, okay, boy. <laughs> I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a, a dog bite. Uh, knew a fella. Got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. You should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. 
You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Nah, you can do better than that. One thing you ain't short on is fantasy. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. John! Someone help John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? Can we get some help? We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. All right, here we go. There we go. Ah, oh. careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're going to get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I uh, suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that... that civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. We're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. What do you think, Arthur? Well, I wasn't on that boat, so hard to say. But I trust your judgment, Dutch. Always have. Thank you, son. Because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lam, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> a party? <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard! You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators. Here. Comb? always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, 
Would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay. Let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this core of their planet. Uh, tracks, horses, quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. gentlemen this is it are we goddamn ready ready Dutch good now mr. Morgan and I we're gonna head up here a little see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp mr. Williamson mr. Bell you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp mr. Summers mr. Escuela you two hold position here Let's go. There they are. Uh, that's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit.
forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You two, get up there and keep us covered. Sure thing. circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Mike and Bill. Are you sure this is the right way? Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including comb. And wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. Steep here. Careful. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Down through these trees, quick. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. We don't have time to debate this. Okay. I'll go first. I wouldn't have done. Feller didn't have much choice. You should have killed me.
the bodies. Strip everything we can from them. You recognize any of them, Duck? Of course not. Colm doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun, ride a horse, and kill without thought, you're in. Oh shit! Look out! More of the bastards coming out of the trees! Here. Okay. Let's wait for Javier and Lenny. They're coming down with the horses. Keep an eye out for any more of the bastards. Nice of you two to join us. Is everyone all right? I think so. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. <clears throat> Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Hey, this looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you boys, all of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and out. <laughs> they can pummel us as hard as they like, but we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know. They will all be back. Well, you didn't get calm, but this head'll hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. 
make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. If we allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater, that won't happen again. I'm no use to you, really. Just isn't your day, is it? Come on, I, I, I'm nobody, mister. This could get bumpy. Just let me go, come on. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! Please. I'm begging you. You better shut your mouth, you little shit, or I will shut it for you.
sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Found a little shit, did you? Yep. <coughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh no, now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas. Is need shooting? Save fellas? Is need saving, and feed him. Is need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it. I know Driscoll in my camp. No, I ain't an old Driscoll, Mister. I, I hate that fella. Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Well, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. So there we go, guys. I really hope you enjoyed episode 2 of Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, they are going to be around 45 minutes each, just because this game is probably really, really long. And I don't want to have a thousand episodes of this series. Just because, number one, this game is fantastic and I really, really enjoy playing it. And number two, I don't want to bombard you with guys with videos. So I want to try and get as much out of the game as I possibly can with each part. Uh, just so that it's not as big of a thing for you guys. And it kind of eases me as well, uh, stress-wise. So leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new. Uh, I'm real. This game is beautiful. Uh, every aspect of it, uh, the nature is just fantastic. Uh, as you saw a little bit in the video, I am struggling a little bit with the combat, but that's because you know the combat is all very, very new to me, and I'm not quite used to it yet. But uh, other than that, this game is fantastic, and I'm really, really enjoying it. And I think uh, this could potentially be game of the year. Uh, but uh, leave a like if you guys did enjoy, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys on some more Red Dead Redemption 2 or Call of Duty Black Ops 4 very, very soon.